I'll have to take his and then I'll come to you. We have to keep it in line. Yes, Chris. I was wondering if you could talk a little about expectation. Um, the question about the birthday brought this up from before. Um, I don't think I've ever had a birthday or a Christmas or a special event with my family where I've been left. Uh, where I've actually been present and happy. Every single birthday I've had that I can remember has been suffering from things not going the way I'd expected them to be and being disappointed, uh, rejected um, from, yeah, I guess things I've expected. Um, and I want to know where that comes from, why, I've always been a very giving person and enjoy giving to people. Like when I was young, I loved cooking for people, which is a beautiful thing. But then there's this, and I'm present, you know, when I when I am giving. But then there's this shift, which I feel is where the ego comes through, where I then expect things in return and get disappointed. Why aren't they treating me the way I'm treating them? Um, and is it maybe coming from me not being satisfied and whole with myself? Well, yeah, I mean, fundamentally, yes. If one expects something, one will be disappointed. That one has to be sure of. The, the easy way to make it through this life is not to expect anything from anybody at all no expectations at all. Even if you buy a ticket for an airplane, don't expect to sit on that plane. That's what I mean. Like no expectations. And the ease, the more, the more you actually don't have any expectations whatsoever, the, the easier will your life be. Having said that, I also do have to say that there are people who who just simply do not fit into the framework into which they were born. There are others who fit in beautifully. It's a matter of who is born where and what are the challenges that you've been faced with, you know. Some people just don't fit because they're not meant to, because they're meant for something else. It's a different, it depends from person to person to person. And generally what my observation has been is that if it is someone who is meant to actually seriously go on a path of self-discovery, they will have it much more difficult to fit into that, into the grooves that have been uh, actually dug out for them. They just can't stay in the channel, you know what I mean? So they start flowing wherever they wish and then that naturally will create the ups and downs that, you know, go with birthdays and Christmases not being what they meant, what you hoped them to be. It's a mix of both. One is, yes, having the expectation and certainly the expectation will not be fulfilled. The other is also not, just simply not being ready in a way to fit into a groove. And what are these grooves that we are speaking about here? As I was saying earlier today, the, the, or earlier this afternoon, the society in which you live, for example, you come from Australia, it, it's a society that is geared, at least as far as the new Australians are concerned, is geared largely to to multiplying capital and uh, doing so on the backs of the individual, you know. Make them want and then serve their wants and make money serving their wants. That's the, that's the circle. So obviously there are people even in those cultures that simply cannot tune into that kind of a thing. They battle it, they fight it. Somewhere deep down they sense something is amiss in what's going on. And 
generally what happens is that they start they start drinking they start smoking dope they start taking you know taking lsd or whatever or, or or ecstasy or whatever because the ecstasy is not there in the daily life so somewhere it has to come from and at one point of course many of them stop it but then those who are not able to actually find their way in that system will continue that path and basically destruct so it's important to also understand that you can live in a society like that but you have to be aware of not allowing yourself to become a victim of that of that process you know or of that society by continuously trying in every single moment to focus on the antaratman the truth the soul the source and try to feel that impulse you know because whatever is the ego is created by society in the socialization process that ego which is there that is expecting that is demanding etc is a result of that socialization process which creates nice fat healthy egos and unhealthy eyes you know and that kind of drinking that goes on in australia i mean it's unparalleled anywhere else in the world i mean that kind the youth the way they are just going for it like this mm, like it's going out of fashion yesterday this is this is just utter and total doom i mean it's bound for doom such a society and there are reasons for that there are reasons for it which need to be addressed and they they cannot be addressed top down that's what spirituality is about addressing something bottom up from individual to individual you address it in yourself you don't have to worry about all the other millions you know you yourself make that change and it is a cultural thing as well these these sadhanas and these practices apply to everyone everyone has to live from the truth you don't live from the truth it's misery you live from the ego it's misery you live from the truth it's joy it's a simple thing there's no gray zones and you know uh, can do's and maybe not do's it's a simple story this living it's a simple story the society from which you come it is actually there's still hope for that turn around to come australia is special in that sense because the new australians are very young and the aboriginal peoples are very old so it's a good mixture where each can learn from the other those are processes which will take some time in the meantime start with yourself you know you don't come from the easiest spot on the planet i can tell you that and if even there you don't belong and you don't feel that you belong then you really have to on a war footing start to actually tune into the truth within yourself you know go into that yearning for the truth accept it even if society tells you you're nuts and mad do not believe them they are lying anyone who yearns for the truth is yearning for the right thing always 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 the truth comes first even if they think you're nuts do not believe them because they don't know what they speak about you know whatever it takes the truth go for it to understand yourself to understand that which is beyond the ego to understand that which is hidden by the ego look 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 and listen and you you're carrying your soul with you it's not that or let's say the soul is carrying you with it it's not that you don't have it you can listen you can tune in you know because you're also paying the price for what your parents and grandparents have done there to the aboriginal people you know you are paying that price and you don't have to pay that price if you can tune in to the truth and act from it that price is being paid by this generation youngsters are you also australian no. yeah oh, okay <laughs> i'm not saying you look like one <laughs> <laughs> so that not to give up you know to stay with, hold it tight because i mean you can also then become you know join the corporate life and make your way up the ladder and you'll still be miserable at 40 
and even more miserable at 50 and even more miserable at 60 or you can do both you can hold the truth and make your path in life you know 